Hello. It's just me today. All by myself. With the PlayStation 2 wind. Doing some conk. You like that? You like that ASMR? I can do more of that. I can get real. I can get real close to the mic if you want me to. I can be right up in here. So any non-regular viewers are now all gone. And I've been putting this off for a while. Honestly, I'm not crazy about the... I, just, let me just get rid of anyone else who would be interested in watching this. I'm not crazy about the Crash Racers. And I have been playing up through the entire Crash series up until this point. And I did play through Crash Team Racing its entire in, in its entirety. That's on YouTube. You can check that out if you like. But I am interested in getting to the other platforming games. And putting this off was holding me off from that. So. Universal Interactive presents a turbocharged extravaganza by Vicarious Visions. Brace yourself for Crash Nitro Here we are. Here it is. I'm not going to do a whole playthrough of this like I did Crash Team Racing. Because I think that would just end up in me putting off streams more. So. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what I did with uh, some previous games. I'm just gonna do a sampler. We're just gonna do one stream of Nitro Kart to see what it was like, you know, little throwback. Now that Nitro Field is out and everyone's playing that, and eventually after this stream, I'll get to I'll be getting to starting to Insanity. can lose a lot of weight on it. But you can't keep it off. Just eat less and exercise more. Something's wrong. That's not sunlight. Crunched with the fad diet advice. Also, Mr. T for no reason in this game. That, uh, that changed between, uh, this and Wrath of Cortex. Which I also streamed. In full. I got that done, I did the Insane Trilogy. We got highlights for the Insane Trilogy. I'm, I'm a little reluctant to stream on console these days, that we're almost out of our PS2 games. Even with the component cables, they look a little bit crusty. This actually looks pretty alright for a PS2 game, though. Go see if Dr. Engine requires assistance. <laughs> is, this, is this just what they do all day? Bingo time! Throw the switch! Hang out in the lab, make good go parts, having wacky antics. Welcome to our riveting plot. Silent Crash, Silent Coco. I. What have you done, you miserable assuming? I am Emperor Velo the 27th, ruler of this galaxy. My subjects hunger for entertainment. prowess has reached my glorious empire. This is well shaded, well animated. Like, this is a far cry from what Wrath of Cortex looked like. Especially since winning the circuit will win your freedom. And if for some reason you refuse to race, your health will be destroyed. But... I don't think it would come to that. Do you accept my challenge? Stephen Bloom, by the way. 
Emperor Velo, just, you know, Stephen Bloom, Spike Spiegel, putting on a silly what's-that-accent accent. Maybe it's something. Maybe it's, like, Russian. Loading I don't want to load I want new data. Uh, can I start a new? Yeah, I can start a new one. Maybe we'll go back to the old one. Maybe at the end, the end of today, we'll go back and check that out. But, uh, for the time being... I guess we just got the two. I know there are more teams in this game. So, for the most part, I do think this game was still in line with, uh... I mean, for the most part, all the designs are still all the same. Crunch became Mr. T for no particular reason. And uh, Coco, you'll notice, has a complete redesign. Everyone else pretty much the same. Coco, they just wanted to change, and I'm not sure why. They gave her the they gave her the Tiny Kong treatment. Uh, one trophy, three percent. Is that? Okay, I thought I had a complete save file this game. I guess I don't. I must not have it anymore. I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna skip to like the final boss. Challenge. Out with it! I like Silent Crash. He, he, he doesn't need to talk. He's better not talking. I don't know how much he talks later. Probably not at all still, but... I know he talks in Skylanders. With an Australian accent. I haven't heard that version of Crash. To give you a fighting chance, I even modified your Earthling vehicles. Now, on to the first world, Terra. You know, I poke fun. But this makes arguably more sense than an alien wanting to turn Earth into a parking lot. So, Crash Games never been uh, never been uh, revered for the story. Also, Castle Cortex apparently completely rebuilt. You will have to race in order to win the Galaxy Circuit. Oh, this is back. To compete in a race, drive onto a warp pad with a vortex on it. Finish the race in first place to win a trophy. Collect trophies to create additional vortexes to more tracks. Good luck, and drive fast. So this is very CTR. This is very similar to, uh, to CTR. Okay, R1 is go. I don't remember... Was that the case in this CTR? Is Sparky, your robotic assistant. Oh. Sparky can save your progress, switch your driver, and display information that will help you along in the galaxy circuit. You can contact Sparky by pressing the start button. Is, did it need a name? Couldn't it just be the menu H U like UI? No, it's got to be Sparky. Well, I I only have one trophy. I guess I must have. I must have started this. Does that have a date on it? No, it doesn't save a date. Okay. I mean, fuck it. So I, I have one more trophy than I have on this file now. I must have swapped memory cards or something, because I know I've I've 100 percent of this game at least once. Don't mind me just doing stream start stuff. I would I could have sworn. Crash Team Racing, the X button was accelerate. It was it was after a point. A warp pad is your gateway to a race. Oh, okay, thank you. Compete in a race. Drive on to a warp pad. He's, he needs to shout over the music. You will be transported to the track. 
I, I love that they kept the wonky Aku Aku animations. Collect trophies to create vortexes to other tracks. There was a point after which uh, Mario Kart kind of started the A to accelerate thing. I'll start with Coco. I'll show show off new design Coco. She's like she's wirier, and she she's got like a little bit of a figure now. Coco gets redesigned the most. I know she gets one or two more redesigns in following games. I think she looks like pretty different in Twin Sanity as well. Which that one we'll get to, and I haven't played any Crash games past that, so if I continue, if I manage to acquire the later ones, those will be brand new to me. So I'm just being thrown in, I'm just gonna have to figure out... I'm just gonna have to figure out what I'm doing. So, uh, it is reverse Crash Team Racing. It's also very loud. Sorry, hold on. No option, no options menu. I can't, like, adjust sound levels. I can't... Whatever else I was going to do. I, I wanted to see if you could uh, manually change the controls. So it is, yes, as far as I can remember, it is opposite of Crash Team Racing in that the shoulder button is accelerate. And, uh, X button. X button is, uh, drift. Which is like Mod Nation Racers. I, d I haven't figured out how to, how to boost yet. Team up. Uh, I'm just, I'm struggling to learn the controls is all I'm doing. Oh, wait, uh, this is weird. So, R1 is Accelerate, but Circle is Reverse. X is Drift, and L1 is Use Items. It's very, very strange setup, this game. It's halfway between Mario Kart and non-Mario Kart. You can, but in main menu. Hello. Thank you for joining. Uh, so I can I can charge items. You're really just thrown in. There's no tutorial for this game. I'm, I'm still at the point where I'm just pressing buttons to see what happens. Yes, I'm playing on PS2. That's right. This was uh, this was after the point that Crash went uh, cross console. L2 is reverse. Maybe I should. I need to, Maybe I need to get the manual for this. I, I cannot figure out how to drift boost. Oh no, okay, that was almost bad. I still won without knowing what I was doing. The controls aren't this weird, even on emulator. Well... In Mario Kart and I think CTR, the X button was accelerate, though. Like, this is the shoulder button is accelerate, and that wasn't the case with those. Oh! <laughs> Oxide is back. What an insufferable Coco freeze. Like, of all poses to give her for the pause screen. PS2 DualShock. Yep, that's right. Congratulations. Thank you. When taking a turn, your cart will slow down. To avoid slowing down, start a power slide by pressing and holding the hop button while turning. Yeah. The power slide ends if your cart hits anything or goes out of bounds. But how how do I boost after the slide? Aku, you're not telling me the useful shit. 
I guess I'll just, I'll figure, I'll find out eventually. Maybe I can, uh... Maybe I'll go back out to the menu and see what options are there. It's very strange that there are not options in-game, that you have to go all the way back out to access them. remember who voices Aku Aku. It sounds it could be Phil Lamar, but it could not be. I'm not sure. Options. There's volumes. Button layout. Okay, there are multiple button layouts. That's what it is. So the regular, the default A. I had it on a different one, I guess. This is the, this is the CTR one. This is the one I'm probably used to. Where does this move boost? Square is boost on that layout. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to this one for simplicity's sake. That's the the CTR controls. Overwrite options and unlockables data. I I don't think I had any options or unlockables. I have yes I have uh, I've completed this game in the past. I'm not going to be playing through it entirely this time. This is kind of just a, a sampler stream. I'm going to be doing this once for a little bit, a couple hours, and then I'll be uh, starting Twin Sanity next stream. No interest in Death Stranding. That, that's something you're going to have to ask Jack for. I, I have no attachment to Kojima. The only Kojima game I've played is Metal Gear Solid 1, and it was okay. I, I'm not really interested in playing it again. I didn't really enjoy Nitro Kart. Uh, did you enjoy CTR? Like, w w if, if so, what do you think are the differences between them? Or maybe they didn't enjoy CTR. Inferno. I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go crash a little bit. CNK doesn't have this reserve system. Reserve system? I'm not sure what you mean. How, how, how do you mean? Now have to relearn the controls. Coco looks so just surprised in her little icon up there. Okay, it was weird when I did CTR. I had to relearn it then as well. Because it is pretty different from uh, Mario Kart or the like. So I believe I have to start a drift and then when it's full I hit the boost button, which now is now L1. And I'm not getting the timing right. And I can get a few boosts out of that. Still no mod nation where you're rewarded for drifting as long as you drift, but, you know, it's something. I don't know what that was. Frenzy. Uh, I just get infinite items for a little bit? That's kind of crazy. I guess that's like the... That's kind of like the 8 item in Mario Kart 8, but you can get it whenever? keep hitting that water. Coco, can you help me beat you, please? Is that- was that Crash? 
No, that was Dingadile. Okay. I was very confused for a moment there. Also joining this game is, uh... Oh, what's his name? Entrance? Is that the egg fella? From one of the handheld games. This game, for some unknown reason, went on to have several... I, they're not really Nitro Kart sequels, but there were games that were called Crash Nitro Kart like, 2 and Crash Nitro Kart 3D on mobile. And I can't, I can't expect they're very good being on mobile, but I, I don't know. I've never played them. It's just odd that they chose the Nitro Kart moniker. Like, they made that into a series instead of being Team Racing Mobile or anything? I, I don't know. It's odd. You planning on getting Nitro Fuel, Zalrog? I don't know. I think... If you hop off of a jump... You'll get a boost when you land. Yeah. The longer you're in the airtime. Air. Okay, thank you. I think I... It's not on PC yet, right? If anything, I think I would wait until it was on PC. But even then, I'm not that interested in the racing games that I'm in a big hurry to get it. I only re just recently got Spyro. I guess they should both be on PC now, right? If Spyro is? I only just recently got Spyro because, uh... It was in Humble Bundle, and I don't know how soon I'm going to stream that because we streamed the PS1 Spyros not too, too long ago. Yeah, don't, don't, don't hold your breath on Jet Moto 2. We got, we got too much other stuff to play. We got to get to Deadlocked, the best Ratchet game. What are you talking about, Charles? Jack and Daxter will happen eventually. Probably after we finish the, f the four Ratchet games, we'll start on Jack. So I think, I think you mentioned liking that, right? Failed that boost. That's okay. I'll survive. Maybe he's Phil Lamar. That sounds right. Cr Crunch could be Phil Lamar. Oh, there's a crash line. He does speak. He has, he has the voice lines. Oh, what was that? There's electricity. There's electricity in this jungle. What is this anachronistic nonsense? Wait, huh? Are, are we on a team? Do I get something if I let Crash win? Is this the team racing game despite not being called team racing? I'm very confused. I don't know the difference between the electric mines and the... The ice, the ice mines. I guess they just function differently. I don't know why they need two mine items. I guess it's like bananas and the fake item boxes in Mario Kart. But they got rid of the fake item boxes eventually. I don't know if I want Crash to win. Am I supposed to? Is it okay if he wins? He told me not to attack Crash. Maybe just for story mode, something's different with the, the team mechanics? I don't know. I am assuming, like Crash Team Racing, that uh, if I get 10 fruit, all the items are upgraded. Yeah, 
Yeah, with the the frenzy, the team every item mechanic, this feels rather easy. I guess it's the first couple levels in the in the campaign, so I guess that shouldn't be an issue. Otherwise, so far this is basically just another Crash Team Racing. Which can you imagine? Like a karting game franchise releasing extremely similar games year after year. That's mind-blowing crazy. Never happens with any other series. Mario Kart totally does not do that. Man Crunch Savage. You've collected three trophies. A promising start. Now you must face Terra's champion. Kronk! Kronk? From the Emperor's New Groove? Hey, how you doing? It's a baboon. It's baboon papu. Babu babu. He definitely looks cunning. They will race me. They look slow. Send them back. But Kronk, they're from a planet just like yours. It's called Earth. Earth! I have heard of this planet. It is a copy of my Terra. I will race them. Okay. And show them who has better planet. You're the faker here. What did, what did you watch yesterday, Sandy? You watch Randy Savage yesterday? Congratulations. You win a trophy. No. Nope. Get out of here. I'm tired of your hints. You do not have enough keys to compete in this event. I guess in theory, if you like CTR, you should like you should like this too. It's just more of the same. Except that one guy didn't like this, so I. I, I, I don't know. I, I just mentioned they mentioned a reserve system, and I don't know what that what they were talking about with that because they didn't explain it. So, I guess there was a feature in CTR that is not in this that I don't recall. I actually don't think I'm a big fan of CTR Nitro Fueled. I I'm not a big fan of CTR, so I I wouldn't be. I'm not a big fan of most kart racers. Include yes, including Mario Kart. Still, still waiting for that Mod Nation Racers re-release. Mario Kart is too random. It's not skill-based. Like not, not even a little random and some skill-based. It's just not skill-based. Oh, there's a lot of water on this level. Oh, there's a lot of water. What is that X crate? I just get multiple item? I'm, I'm hitting every just like brush and obstacle. And this guy's dropping fruit. How far do these go? Not far enough. I feel like Coco turns too sharp for these early levels. I might need to switch to her later because I'm turning into walls and grass and shit is what's happening. Sorry. Her voice sounds a little different too. I bet I think she switched actresses between last game and this one. Maybe. I can't say that for sure. Okay. 
It's like the guy wanted to do a caveman voice, but didn't want to commit to it, so he just ended up doing the mannerisms in a totally normal voice. It's, it's kind of off-putting. Coco with the uh, Urkel reference. I can't drift here. It's too fucking sharp. Coco, calm yourself. <clears throat> Just going into grass everywhere. So yeah, it's the same mechanic as uh, CTR. Items get boosted when you're at 10 fruit. And I think there's also a speed boost, like the coins in Mario Kart. The skill ceiling is very high. I think you mean the skill ceiling is very low. Has Coco said a word in this game's cutscenes yet? I don't think she has. Key makes you champion of Terra. Also opens all world gates on my planet. Visit when you want. Thumbs up. Have a yo-yo. What is this? Gift from your world. You can kind of see what's what direction the series was moving towards with like that little crowd joke that was going on. And then you got stuff like this that's a little more serious, but not really. They for, it's, they decided Crash needed to be more cinematic, progressively from Wrath of Cortex onwards. We've had a lot of cutscenes so far in the game. You did well, but you're nowhere close to winning the circuit yet. On to the second world, Baron. Baron. Baron Steen Bearers. There's that fellow on YouTube who does a uh, song, but it's Russian. I, I want him to do that to the Baron Steen Bearers theme. Because that, that was... Because Bears, Russia. That was a theme song, right? That was a cartoon with a theme song? I don't remember what it is, you but... Won a key. Congratulations. Diddy Kong Racing was somewhat story-driven. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind that it's story-driven. Diddy Kong Racing definitely was very ambitious and had a lot of single-player content compared to other kart racers of the time. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Aku. I've say, I say this every time. I'm trying to avoid making the same... Like, having the same discussion every time I play a kart racer. Of the problems I have with Mario Kart and other kart and some other kart racers, like most of them, most of them besides Mario Kart do something unique and innovative that resolves an issue I have with Mario Kart. Diddy Kong Racing did a few things. Like I, I like the I like the item stacking that Diddy Kong Racing does, or the ability to power up your items if you so choose. It because it adds an element of choice. To items instead of just it being a hundred percent completely and totally random roulette you can decide what power up power up you're gonna get you can decide what one to hold on to or if you want to improve it it adds a level of strategy I say that like, I, I want to avoid having this discussion every time I play a kart racer and then I immediately go on to have the same discussion just go, go play Mod Nation Racers. That's the bet. That's the best one. There you go. That's the discussion. That's all I need to say. I'm, I'm a little disappointed with with myself that the Mod Nation stream 
the series of streams. I streamed the story mode for Mon Nation Racers a little while ago, but it was plagued with bad, bad technical difficulties, and the stream was kind of ruined as a result. Mon Nation and Tony Hawk 3 came out very poorly because of technical difficulties. And I still don't really know what happened to cause that. I am... I was not nearly fast enough. 18... I'm still miss. Even if I got that center one, I'm short one somewhere. Like, why would I even want to start with a boost here? It's just a little arena thing. Ick. You can probably tell I'm not trying super hard, but... I don't think I... I don't think I'll need to for this. The water is pretty annoying. Hey! hey. Also not really taking any kind of, uh, I probably missed you last time. Not taking any real, like, dis concentrated route through this. Just kind of wandering. It's fine. It'll be fine. Seventeen. I'm still missing one somewhere. Where am I missing one? There you are. That still sounds like- is that the same music track? Did it just pl it's the plays the same one whether you win or lose? That sounded so, like, somber. And intense for a victory fanfare. So that's a previous level I did. And that now has the relic and... What are the tokens? I don't, I don't remember how you get the tokens. CNK challenge. What is this? In a CNK challenge, the letters C, N, and K are hidden on the track. You must collect all the letters and come in first place oh, to win a letters. CNK colored token. Okay, so that's what that's what it is. I remember that. That was the same in CTR. I don't remember any new mechanics in this game. I think it's just an expanded upon CTR with ob obviously more cutscenes. I wonder how much of this game's budget went towards the cutscenes. It really, it really is, like, obvious what they were doing with, uh, Crash, Crash Wrath of Cortex just being Crash Warped, but more. And now this is just Crash Team Racing, but more. <laughs> Alright, looking for C, looking for N, looking for K. seen nothing yet. Where the hell are they? Wouldn't be back here. No. Uh, what did I just do? Why am I electric? Am I- I'm hovering. I only just noticed 
Fuck Mario Kart 8. This did this game did it first. I mean, obviously we're discounting F Zero and things, but yeah, this is just oh, I found the N. I don't know where the others were at. This is it. That was just straight up the Mario Kart 8 hover sections. There's the N. K. There, there's the K. C, C. Oh. C unaccounted for. Maybe on the left side of that split. Ow. You like a character who only communicates in screams? Isn't that fun? I kid. Crash is okay. He's, he's a cool dude. No, the sea was not there. Where the hell is it? Well, now I'm really confused. I have no idea where this thing could be. This is a this is where the end was at. I'm also definitely not getting first, but I just like to find the things. We went through this on every track in uh, CTR. I seem to recall some of them giving me more trouble than others. There were there were some mean hidden letters. Wait, is that? It's just I just blended in with something. They're just hanging out there. All right, let's try this again for reals this time. We're gonna get at least one of these tokens. Unstoppable say that a lot too. Booyah. I remember that was a catchphrase of his. It's been a long time since I saw Kim Possible. Was considering maybe rewatching it, just because that's a uh, you know a Western cartoon with some sense of continuity. Even if it's not it's not the most like continuous story show. What would I be peeking at, Coco? Mm -hmm. I need you. Oh. He he. He's got. He's like raspier in this version. This is the rasp. This is Smoker Crash. The guy voicing him sounds just wheezy as shit. So that's that's the you seem to be sucking last place item is the time stop clock or the slow slow down clock. Wow, that really messed with them. Uh oh, no, no. Those flames have a bigger hitbox than it looks like. Okay, lap two or three. We got plenty of time for this. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they spent too much of this game's budget on on presentation stuff, because that definitely happened with Wrath of Cortex. They almost certainly put most of the money towards the voice actors. And we talked about that during the Wrath of Cortex stream, some of the some of the voices they got. We got Mark Hamill, Gunnery Sergeant, Emery. I, I don't even know the, the actor's name. Drop that, I guess. Whatever it does. Probably blows up. You can chain boosts? That's three boosts. Five boosts. I wonder what the highest you can get in that is. Like look at the look at the wheels shape. It's just it's Mario Kart. Straight up. Wow. 
Wow, we. That sounds like such a defeat theme. Why is that the victory theme? I got conk. I, I thought it crashed for a second there. He's got he's got the dance and everything. You think could cry more, Cortex? Can you do that sound bite a little more often? I don't know what Steve Bloom cost for this. I mean, he's an, he's an anime voice actor, so it's comparatively not that expensive. And he also does games and things. See, Bloom does everything. Oh, I got a token from the uh, arena level as well. Now, I don't remember exactly what the tokens do. I'm gonna guess it's similar to the... I'm gonna guess it's similar to the previous previous game. There's going to be a section towards the end of special levels. Why does Dingadao look so derpy in this game? What what changed? He's got something on his head. Is he for, uh... Okay, so, so Cortex team is Cortex, Engine, and Tiny. Did the bad guys take Dingadial? They've got him brain-controlled. I just noticed how odd it is that he's even here. And I 100%ed Crash Team Racing, didn't I? I guess I guess we found out I needed to. I think I couldn't do the the final Nitrous Oxide boss unless I had all the tokens and relics and things. Which, if that were the case in this one, I was thinking I would, you know, load up the sa my old save and, you know, do that to, like, fight the final boss, but I don't have an old save, apparently, so... Guess that's not happening. I think Velo's a pretty big dude on the track. I don't remember how big. He's not Whizpig big, I don't think. Maybe I don't need to do it multiple times. Maybe it's just once. I, uh... I have a little bit of PTSD with Crash Bandicoot ice levels. A little, little bit uncomfortable being here again. Could it be? Coco's like, she's playful. She's like frisky in this game. I just, I just deleted the item I had. This is just so... It, you just litter the track with shit when you got this. Oh, oh fuck it, I guess I'll just hold on to the shield. Oh, there we go, it runs out. It is time-based. That's right, Coco's on my team, so I don't want to hit her. I guess. Do I still get the trophy if she wins, though? Like, that would be weird. Like, what what kind of single-player campaign would that be? If just you or... T one, one of your two arbitrary CPU allies has to win. It's okay. I don't see that in other games. I guess it'd be interesting. It's not really clearly established, though. Other than you get yelled at if you hit hit a teammate. Yeah, this hasn't been too much of a challenge yet. Once once I remember how CTR plays, it's just it's just that again. Which, I have not played Tag Team Racing. I'm told that that one... That one's a little bit weird. In that it has... Like, racing 
and it also has the double dash, like uh, multiple people in one cart thing going on. But it also has platforming sections? I don't know, it sounds weird. I mean, I'm interested in it, I guess. I can't wait to see the d d derpy ass dingo dial icon. Oh, he's on the it's uh, color teams. He's on Entrance team. Entrance has stolen dingo dial from Cortex for the purposes of this game. I, I guess it's uh I think Entrance and Tropy and Dingo Dial are on a team together. I think Entropy's still in the game. Is that, is that Coco squealing? Going, uh? Crash looks so amused by Dingo Dial's brainwashed antics, though. Dingo Dial is going to wake up, like, after all this is over. And have no idea what happened. Like, a blackout drunk experience. And then he's gonna see footage of the race and the shit he was doing while he was brainwashed. And he's just gonna be utterly broken, humiliated, like, Oh, blimey, can you delete this? Alright, let's go to the ruins. I guess I'll just, I'll play more... I, I don't like listening to... Chunk. What's his name? Crash. Crush. Crush Bandicoot? Is that Crunch? Crunch Bandicoot. I don't like listening to his Mr. T lines. But if I'm turning into things, I guess he would be the best one to play. This particular artwork looks so much better than all the others because it's artwork. Like, did they they painted Engine over a screenshot? A render? That's not much turn radius. That's really bad non-drifting turn radius. And it's bad drifting turn radius, too. Oh, I can't just bounce off that? I gotta get respawned? So, the X crates, the cross crates are just multiples of a power-up. I, I don't know why that was represented with a cross. I guess because multiply? Or multiple? What was that noise? What? There's golems walking around the racetrack. These are at least interesting tracks. Like they're all they're all alien worlds with weird shit going on. I kind of like that. As opposed to Crash Team Racing just kind of being, you know, the, the, a lot of the, the generic settings. You got temple level, you got jungle level, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just playing a few of those around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't shake it off. He's still there enough to, like, fling insults. I've gotten all of three fruit over the course of this race. I'm very low on the fruit count. Oh, hello. Can't fire those forward. I don't know what the exclamation does. Well, that fucked me. That's the Mario Kart lock right there. I should have just dropped all those so I could get a different item. That, that was it. 
I'm not gonna get this trophy now. I wonder if I need to get first. I uh, spent all of yesterday making a uh, checks mix. Well, third place. Oh, there's. Okay, no, there's not another lap. Will third place suffice? I'm gonna get. No, it will not. I need to get first. Are you sure you don't want to give up and leave, you loser? Spent all of yesterday making uh, multiple batches of my grandma's Chex Mix recipe. Which calls for, like, a ton of melted butter. And I'm pretty sure just the smell alone was enough, to, has, was enough calories to sustain me. Because I was not hungry at all, all day yesterday. And I haven't eaten today, and I'm still not really hungry. Okay, you know, that that's not entirely true. I, I had a donut today. I probably shouldn't have. Because I didn't really want a donut. I just, I had a coupon to use. So I got a co coffee and a donut. How did that not hit him? Spam items. Fuck it. You got him, use him. Find the hole? Is that what he said? You really, you really slide around on this ice. This is not just a little slide like most racers. You drift even when you're not drifting. Except you lose speed when you not drift on the ice. Give me a boost or something. Just dropping shit all over the track. I can't... Well, this is Crash. He's my teammate, so it should be okay if he wins, right? I guess. I don't know. Maybe I won't know if I get first in this race. I shouldn't have done that. That was okay. I avoided it. I just, I, I haven't had anything substantial the past two days. Maybe that means I shouldn't be getting, like, the, the really fancy coffees I'm getting. I got, like, a McDonald's cinnamon cookie something or other latte yesterday. And then I got another similar fancy high calorie, I'm sure, latte today. Oh no, 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 not right, right here. Please? Okay, good. That was almost Mario Kart sad. Is Polar being controlled? Yeah! That motherfucker in trance just put like little caps on Dingadial and Polar. He's got it. He's got them both racing for him. Asshole. So yeah, I'm just I'm surviving on dessert, coffee calories. I had a couple bites of cookie dough yesterday, and I had a donut today. And I got a sal I got a, I got a salad yesterday, but I was never hungry enough to eat it. So I'm waiting until I'm hung hopefully after this. I'll have a, I'll have a Wendy's salad. Went to Silver Dragon last night. I want to go to Silver Dragon. It's a good Chinese place. They overfeed you. Well, it's Chinese. Of course, they give you lots of lots of portions. You got to take some home, man. You don't eat it all there. Congratulations. After a it was takeout. Well, why'd you eat all of it then and there? Do a little bounce. Oh. Yeah, I, I always, I always have, uh, I always split Chinese into two portions. Even the even the safe way usually. 
you just have one more trophy somewhere. Even like Safeway Chinese is usually they usually give me enough for two days worth. Go back, please. Where's the last thing at? Do I have a map? Previous game had a map. I do not seem to have a map. There you are. Deep sea driving. I don't know how, how if I'm going to continue being able to use crunch. The tracks are getting a little bit harder and icier. There's a lot of ice in this this terra barren place. I get it, barren, because there's nothing here but ice. What is that? Is that a is that a red Charmander in a little little hoodie outfit? All right. So this is uh getting flashbacks to Crash Warped. These undersea tubes. This feels very similar to uh, a level in Crash Team Racing. What was it like the the Rilla Roo level, the caves, Roo's tubes, or something? Is that what it was called? It was caves and tubes, and this is caves and tubes. Mm, turn, turn faster, Crash. I don't got time to start a drift. Uh oh. Oh, I hit that. So this was. I bet this was the. This must have been the first kart racer, at least, to do this anti gravity thing. First one I'm aware of. I wouldn't mind the view from behind Coco. So, anyway. Yeah, Diddy Kong Racing had multiple uh, had multiple vehicles going on, but it didn't have a it didn't have like anti grav upside down sections. Am I boosting on that? Is that whole tube? I think that whole tube is boost. Whoops. Okay, Tiny. Oh, what was it? In one of the games, I'm told, one of the games I haven't played yet, Tiny gets like a Mike Tyson voice. Like, hey there, I'm Tiny Tiger. Because, you know, he's tiny. So he's got he's to be a big dude who sounds all funny and high voiced. Nope. I wasn't... Oh. You you can't attack your friends. Ak Aku was protecting her. Uh oh, uh oh. Hop please. Hop. Hop. Jumpy, jumpy jump. I talked about maybe playing the Emperor's New Groove at some point on stream. I don't know if Jack's gonna want to be around for that or not. He mentioned wanting to be around for Croc, so I guess I'm not going to be doing that solo. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to pass you. No. Uh-oh. I didn't get the boost. Did he get the boost? Tempting, whatever this game's equivalent of the blue shell is. I think it was the tornado. I think that's what that did. All right, we got another cutscene.
No, sorry, we got the trophy stand first. The little orc fella. You now have six trophies. With these, you have earned the right to race Nash, Ben's champion. Nash was engineered to always move. He never stops or even sleeps. Sounds tragic. <laughs> Who is that? Is that Billy West? I think it's Billy West. Is that enough? Uh, I need to get moving! That's Billy West. Not soon. No! Fry is pissed. I guess they could only animate so many cutscenes. That's why you only get the story options. At least it gives you both Crash or uh, Cortex team. Like, there's there's presumably cutscenes... Oh, I wonder what the Cortex cutscenes would have been. If he doesn't give him a... If he doesn't give him a yo-yo-yo, maybe he gives him, like, a ray gun. Great! Thanks! I kind of regret not doing the Cortex story now. Oh well, we're uh, we're an hour in, and we just finished our second world. If this is like Crash Team Racing and there are only four worlds, maybe we'll at least get to the like incomplete ending over the course of this. What are you? Oh, you're. That's right. You got. I got to do the champion before I can move on. Crash or Crunch? I'll just I'll stick with Crash. Crash is the safe option. What other racing games were there? there was, we have Sonic Drift was bad. We don't talk about Sonic Drift. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. I don't remember being particularly noteworthy in any way. Like I I finished it. I completed it even. Like I got I think I got uh, I think I got the platinum trophy on that on PS3, the original one. Not quite for Transformed, but, uh... Yeah, I remember those being, uh, very just standard, kind of par-for-the-course kart racers. You know what is really top dog in the kart racing world? is the Sonic Adventure 2 kart racing sections. With Tails and Rouge, weren't those great? Oh, that, there's, there's things on the track. Every boss in these games needs to cheat. Every single one. Oh no! I'm sorry, this got loud again. I wonder why I had it on uh, the other control option. Cause I, I usually go for the... I usually go for the... You know, Mario Kart style controls. Maybe I had just come off a of Mod Nation or something. Other PlayStation 3 games where the acceleration is the shoulder button. Because that, that's a modern racer thing. For the most part. Modern racers and uh, I think more realistic racers. I am not, I'm not doing well this particular boss race. I think I did better against a previous guy. Against Bapu Bapu Babu Babu.
I can't even blow up the entire spikes. Oh, there's something on the roof up there. I guess it's nice that they stopped the fan blades. If nothing else. Oh good, I can see him again. Maybe, maybe I can still do this. Maybe I can make this work. Oh, right on the outside. And I, I lost him again. Just completely. I cannot see the fans around that corner. Yeah, this got more annoying than the first boss. I see him. There he is. Maybe I got a chance yet. <laughs> he didn't fire. Hit. Please, missile, hit. Did he hit? I th he hit. Is that that is that all I need? Just that one missile? Gotcha. You know, consistently losing the entire race. Get a missile. Slip ahead. That's cart racing. Did he just do the jabber jaw? I packed his brain and put him to sleep. He looked like he needed some, the poor shark thing. Wait, she sprayed him? When did that happen? Did I miss that? First. Get him out of here this instant. At least Coco got a line. Well, you're halfway there. Here's where things start to get tricky. She seems so um, not bothered by all of this. Are. Just hanging on, on, hanging out on her laptop. Okay, we're going to Phenomena, the, the, the trademark weird world. Spy Spyro had the Dream Makers, Dream Weavers world. I like when games include a weird abstract world in the selection. Well done. You... Unlocked a cutscene. How many streams did CTR end up taking? I don't remember. Might have been like three long ones, maybe four. The, these still images somehow look like lower quality than the fully animated cutscenes. Like, they can take the time to render good cutscenes, but they can't get better still renders. We gonna see Entropy. Is he hanging out here? I still have not played the handheld crash games. I, I have no idea what this little Eggman story is. It's a lot of loading. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's a desert with a clock in it. I still don't know what those do. I'm sorry, it's a desert with many clocks in it. It's Clock Desert. It's fu it's the fucking Salvador Dali level. Who 
is that speaking? Is that Oxide? He sounds different. Like, this, if that's Oxide, then this Oxide sounds to the previous one as New Frieza sounds to Linda Young Frieza. That's right, I should probably use that. I forget I have this broken game mechanic at my disposal. I say that, and then I immediately just destroy myself with it. I don't know how I feel about the fact that other people can run into me and bust my shield. Kinda, I'd kind of rather save it for items. Out ahead of me. That's Oxide. So Entro Entropy's got to be in this game. I don't know if he's like a secret unlockable again, because in Crash Team Racing, if I remember correctly, he was you unlocked him by beating all the all the time trials. This is just straight up the Crash Warped title screen clock. I might need to start using Coco. These turns are getting sharp. Okay, if Coco wins. I- wow. Fucking dead. Well, that cost me a lot of places, you know, dying. Also, this is a very narrow portion of track. These levels stepped up really fast. I would say that I'm presumably halfway through the game, so I would expect them to get harder, but I'm just gonna have to start using Coco. I don't I don't think I like that level. This level, with that jump. And these turns. I don't like these turns either. There's a lot I don't like on this level. A lot of narrow spots, a lot of sharp turns. You. Okay, no one got the crate. No. Okay, I'm fine. Except I'm not fine. I failed to turn. I'm gonna switch to Coco. I wonder how those icons were made. If they were based off of the in-game models? Maybe early in-game models. Because all of them look just a little bit off in some way or another. Okay, there we go. It's back. Thanks. Cool. Good advice. Oh, I'm, the clock is on the overworld, too. It's just not a clock. Good job. Thanks. What happened to original Crash voice? They just replaced him. If it's if that's the same dude. I get it. It's a Tarantino reference. I got that reference. Clockwork Orange was Tarantino, right? What is that in the background? What is that art? It's a fruit walrus? I can't tell. Okay. There's a bird, I guess. 
I noticed the, the flag girls are conspicuously absent from this game. The most important thing missing from CTR. And Tana. I guess that's not surprising. Tana was just dumped from the series until the remakes just kind of brought her back because they had to. She had to be, she was in the first game. She had to be in the remakes. This is another lots of, lots of sharp turns levels. Level, singular. I'm going left now. I don't know how I feel about this track design. I don't remember the, I don't remember the track design in CTR for comparison. Then again, if I didn't notice it, I guess it couldn't have been bad. This is this is very demanding. These are levels that I feel like you're kind of you're expected to fall off somewhat regularly. I mean, I haven't in a while. I've managed it, but oh, I'm hitting a lot of stuff. Oh, that's right. That's why I'm failing. I'm not using the broken cheat team option. Oh, that's not that's not a solid object. You just uh, you just spin out if you hit that gear. What team is Pura on? What's he doing? Cause I see him in the in the stills and the renders. Oh, that's a hole. I, I, I saw, like, the things coming out of it. I thought it was like a boost bounce or some shit. What, what did she, I didn't catch what she said. I wonder who's gone through more voice actresses. Peach or Coco? Because Peach has gone through quite a few as well. I think the frenzy also ends if you hit an obstacle we saw previously. I think there's a shortcut, like I can ride up those gears, but I, I keep forgetting every time I get to that point. Uh-oh. Okay, good, he fell. Speaking of shortcuts, I can't get up to. So when do we get in that new F Zero game? that happen in Nintendo? I would be so disappointed if they came out with another F-Zero and uh, they ruined it with an unnecessary gimmick, which they almost certainly would at least add some kind of gimmick. It's whether it would potentially ruin the game or if you could turn it off. Like, like F-Zero doesn't need Mario Kart items, for example. That would kind of change the game dramatically. But that's kind of the, that's kind of the way Nintendo thinks with a lot of series these days, is that if they don't have some big new quote-unquote innovation to apply to it, then the series is just kind of going to sit there and rot and not anything be done with it. There have been a lot of old Nintendo series that haven't really done anything in recent years. Just because... I mean, they, they've had a couple attempts. But they haven't really gone well. 
Like, the, 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 no one really... No one really likes any of the recent Star Foxes, do they? They're doing a new Metroid Prime. People are excited about that. Hope I hope for Metroid fans that goes well. I really wonder if there's going to be uh, like a new Crash game coming down the line. Now that that and Spyro have been proven, there's still interest with the remakes. Since that's often what remakes are, you know, there to gauge. Or at least that's the, that's like the corporate viewpoint. Is that, hey, let, let's put out a remake to see if people want more of this series, if the, the fans are still out there waiting. And you know what? I would be totally okay with an F-Zero remake. Give me F-Zero GX 2. Give me F-Zero GX on Switch with online. That's fine. I'm, that's great. That's all I really want. You don't even need to make a new game. Give me F-Zero GX with online. Maybe a track editor. I didn't play F-Zero X, so I don't know how, like, amazing F-Zero with a track editor is. I, I, liked the, I liked the ship editor in F-Zero GX. That was a lot of fun. Of course, Nintendo probably wouldn't be uh, too keen on uh, the fully customizable decals these days. This is very similar to uh, the blimp level in Crash Team Racing. I'm getting some flashbacks of that. But it's just kind of a Badlands plateau in the sky? I'm not sure I understand this level's theme. It's got these sweet, uh... It's got these sweet guts and glory, like, spike log traps, though. So that's neat. That's something I was meaning to play at some point with Jack. I've not gotten around to. Coco, you almost shoved me off. I, why did I do that? Just me and Coco dancing around each other in first and second. Like, it, it is okay if she wins, right? We still get, we get the trophy from that? I can't attack her, so if it's not okay if she wins, there's not a lot I can do about it. And that'd be bad. Is that like, uh, is that like a, a Babby mode, easier story, have an easier time with the story feature? Is that eventually, if you throw yourself at a level enough times, one of your CPU teammates might happen to win, and then you'll pass? Maybe that's the reasoning. I don't think this was around a time that they were worrying too much about making games easier for, like, little kids. That was more, uh... That was more Nintendo, and that was more the, like, Wii era onward. Some of their games have gotten really bad with that of late, though. Like Yoshi's Crafted World with the, the wings. Luigi playing the level for you in Mario Maker. Isn't, wasn't that a thing? Or did he just let you use pieces? I know he let you use pieces. I don't remember if he actually played the level for you after a time or not. Well, that was kind of a joke. Also, was there a voodoo doll item? Have I not gotten that yet? Maybe I just missed Saw for a second there. We should get, like, a super trophy if we come in first and second. With your ninth 
trophies, you have earned the right to face Phenomena's champion. That was Norm. actually fast. That went faster than World 2. Norm? From Cheers? Hello. <laughs> Don't let Norm's size fool you. He's a demon on the racetrack. Is he small? No! You are racing today! Now do it! I, g I guess he's small. And also a slime. Okay. That you race in return for me wearing this dumb getup. Besides, they don't stand a chance. What is this character? These characters? It's like Kami and Piccolo. In order to become the perfect mime, he had to e eject the chatter from his body. over a surface that slows your cart, you can prevent slowing down by boosting or using an invincibility mask power-up. If you happen to have either of those things. You know, what was great about Mod Nation, best racing game, is that you could store boost, and you could use it whenever you needed it, such as when you were driving over a terrain that slowed your cart. That was nice, it was a convenient feature. Ow. For some reason, I didn't think those would have, uh, hitboxes. Alright, I guess we'll, uh, I want to go Coco or I want to go Crash. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Coco, because these, these tracks have been, these, these have been some tight turns in this world. That first track we went to, that, I think that was the worst. In terms of, like, tight turns and just being difficult to manage. Crash games on the PS2 had some loading problems. They had some loading times. And this isn't Wrath of Cortex bad. I don't think. Okay, we're here again. Oh, not here again. This was the first one, wasn't this was the worst one I was just talking about. Well, I'm glad I picked Coco then. Well, shit. They're dropping bubbles and squares. Circles and squares, team geometry. Also, what happened to this road that is all torn up and shitty? Defense, defense. Well, this one's faster than we thought. I wonder if all the bosses are playable. Because this one would have this one would have to be two characters. Oh no, Coco! Better luck next time. You know, not dying horribly. Well, that, uh, that put me back. Did you just hit a wall and say that her cart rules? Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left. No, not this time. Well, shit. <laughs> Maybe I can just kind of keep up with them. 
and then win, win with a missile in the end. Maybe that'll work again. That ace tactic. What is this? I could- could I not turn? Well, this could be going better. Of all the tracks they could have picked for this. playing mind music. I hate this. I'm not having fun right now. Oh, did I pass one? Did I actually catch up to one somehow there's only one position on the thing though what is this lap two Oh, that's where the the exclamations like change stuff on the track. I just got it. I get it. Just hitting everything. They're already on the clock. Can I get a clock? Ooh, tornado. That'll be some something at least. I don't think this is the one. I don't think the tornado hit them. <laughs> oh my, somehow did not get eaten that time. Can I get half a key for beating one of them? Don't be sorry, he's a dick, he's cheating. I beat one of them. Like, I'm only racing the little one. The little one's the only one that matters. But the big one's just here on the track. Fucking with it, dropping his boxes. That's all he's here for. Okay, I think I can do better this time. I got- I learned the track. Fuck you, mime. You don't even evolve. Terrible Pokemon. I hope there's not rubber banding with these bosses. that worm. I'm gonna watch for him. Oh, I'm in a... I'm in a thing. I didn't even realize.
So those ones just eat my speed. The square ones keep me from turning. I got ten fruit. That'll help. Are they homing? Yeah, they're like coming for me. They're not just sitting on the track like the boxes did. Probably mine. It was almost definitely mine, because they don't I don't think they drop other items. They just have their little thing in infinite quantities. So I guess it's theoretically not that unfair. We have a variety of items, and they have more of a single worse item. It would be nice to have my team up thing, but I don't have my cheating mechanic to help me here. That's it, little Norm. Is, is that their names, Little Norm and Big Norm? The drifting does feel weird. I'm still kind of getting used to it. Not the boost, I'm used to the boost, just the way the, the point at which it starts turning and how sharply it starts turning. Cross it sideways, just to show off. All right, three worlds down. Said mime. You know, you did good out there. You got a real shot at winning this thing. Is that also you Billy West? Both of you make a good team. I think that's also Billy West. Hey, come over here and make nice. Sounds like Thug Zap Brannigan yeah, a little he bit. Pretends not to care, but he's just like me. He hates losing. Norm, get over here! Uh oh. Perhaps I need new ways to motivate you, like taking your books away. Like punishing a child. You had your beat, but you proved me wrong. You won't be so lucky on Techni. Is that is that the last one? I think CTR had four, right? Five other worlds besides Vito's Colosseum. Okay. I guess there are five, not four. I think I'll be, be able to push through the five worlds, at least to get through those, and uh, maybe we'll get like a basic velo, be velo race. We got like a first oxide race before we had to go back with all the stuff in CTR, right? I have to turn it up for the cutscenes because they're not as loud as the game. This is F Zero World. Kind of. They did. They didn't quite master. The physics. Alright, where am I going? Here's the 
Here? No, not here. Thanks. Yeah, I need I need more things. I, I figured that out. All the puns. Crash Bandicoot loves its puns. <clears throat> so this was before Nina Cortex. She was introduced in Twin Sanity, I think. So I'm guessing that anything she'll probably be in tag team racing. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's mud. I don't want to be in that. So, uh, welcome to Waluigi Stadium. Oh, there's like mud, oil, all over this track. This one's gonna take some memorization. Also, I think I remember you could, uh, fire the shields. As a projectile. In, uh, Crash Team Racing. You can't do that in this one. This feels very similar to the, I believe, the engine lab level in CTR. We really have zero. This game is so F zero. I mean, not not just the, in terms of the anti grav sections. Like Mario Kart had them, but it didn't really use the feature. E even Mario Kart 8, it was just sections of track that were there to look cool. Because hey, you're twisting around and you can see the ground above you. But it didn't do, like, tubes, like F-Zero, or like this just did. There's very little of that. Mario Kart is very safe with its level designs. Doesn't really experiment a lot. Oh good, I can shield level hazards. Oh, use, please! Ah, I couldn't use it because I was stunned, and I just got double red shelled. No Mod Nation 2 could add gravity physics. That'd be neat. I don't know how advanced they'd be able to be with the... Since a big part of that game was, like, level creation. I guess they had, uh, they had, like, quarter pipes you could set on any piece of track, so I guess they could, uh, let you make that, like, a track type. Just make whatever length of track into either, uh, driving on the outside of the pipe or the inside of a tube. I need that. Yeah, I do that. I'm not gonna catch Cortex. Cortex, please. Ow! Oh!
Cortex is on should be on Earth team. Why is why is he fighting us? Why is he against us? Like we should all four be helping each other win. We've already won three keys. This Bandicoot team. Cortex team should be doing everything they can to fuck with the other racers and help the Bandicoots win to save Earth. They, they don't want no Earth destroyed. What's the bad guy motivation here? We're all gonna die because of you, Cortex. Not throw TNT, I can only drop them. Seems like the mines are the only, uh. The mines are the only thing that can be thrown forward. In addition to being dropped backwards. Or rather, they're the only drop, drop item that uh, can be thrown. No story explanation of why most of these people, why most of these characters are here. We don't hear why Oxide is here, why he's back in the story. We don't get any explanation of Entrance in his team. Like you'd think, just for the campaign, the story mode, it would just be Bandicoots, you know, Cortex, and the Velo Racers. Or at least you'd see the other guys in, like, an initial cutscene or something. Okay, Crash and Co- Crash and Coco. Coco and Crash. I, we just fucked each other a little bit. That's okay. Depends on what state you're in, but in this situation, it's okay. Still in first. Any droppable items are just the least satisfying items in kart racers, because you don't get to see them hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh! oh! That sucked a little bit. Now Oxide's ahead. At least in Mod Nation, you got like a little notification of when you hit someone and with what item, including dropped items. So if I hit someone with a mine, it would tell me, hey, you hit someone with your mine. This is the person you hit. Isn't that cool? You just fucked them. Got it. But where's the race girls? I demand alien flag girls for my alien race competition. Give me Omicron Persei, Persei 8's finest. Alright, what's next? Where are we going? I don't remember in CTR if you could go to any of the three levels in a world in any order or if you had to go in a certain order because this is only this is only le only letting us go in a certain order also i don't know why i noticed this while i was making the tony hawk highlights i've noticed it before i'm sure i don't know why ps2 games have this border around them if that was a thing that was always the case or if it's just that uh just the way that the Elgato like renders them for uh, 
for streaming, for recording. Also, the colors probably look a little bit off because we have them turned up for uh, Ratchet & Clank. It's a very dark game. So this probably looks a little bit brighter than usual. This level in particular is very neon, I'm noticing. Ooh, here we got some quarter pipes. Oh, I was floating on Cortex. Dead. So, uh, there's a train in this level. No one told me there was a train in this level. I've never been to the future, so I don't know what future train tracks look like. Actually, that's not true. I spent the entire final Crash 3 stream in the future. Final Crash re Trilogy. Insane Trilogy, rather. This is a very F-Zero pathway. They gotta have... They gotta have been inspired by F-Zero with this game. There's too many stylistic similarities in a lot of the levels and settings. Wow, I'm turning right now. They didn't give me an arrow. They didn't say go right. We got cleaner bots. Rosie the Robot is walking around the racetrack. What, what is that supposed to mean, peeking? What would I be peeking at besides, like, innuendo stuff? Fuck. <laughs> that train! So, the walls are there for a reason. Ride them, is what I'm learning. Well, I don't think this is happening. I wonder if the team, like, kind of sticks with you. Is that Coco? Yeah, that's Coco. Coco, why are you back here? Like, is there a mechanic to prevent your team from... You can't just stumble into a victory? If you're doing shitty, Coco's also got to do shitty? That way she can't win the race for you. Almost hit the cleaner bot. Okay, I'm at 10 fruit. That'll help. I got a super clock. I just got them all clock, bo clock blocked. Okay, train is a coming. Murder train a coming. That was a death clock reference. I don't even really like Metalocalypse that much. I just reference it all the time. It's just because the voices are fun to do. That's really the only reason. Okay, I'm back up with the pack. It's a tall order to get back to first, though. What does a super bomb even do? Does it blow up bigger? I'm not gonna get back to first. No way. And then let right turn again! There's no arrow, you just gotta memorize it. Cleaner bot. Ah, that's it. I was considering turning up the microphone because I'm generally quieter than Jack, but then there are times that I'm not quieter than Jack. Yeah, Coco's not gonna win this. Coco's not gonna carry me, and I couldn't carry her. Earth is doomed. Engin has doomed us. Cortex wasn't sticking with his team. I think they were playing the course. Like, that that's team strategy, is Engine stays at the head of the pack dropping shit. Cortex stays at the back of the pack getting all the best items, like the clocks and things. 
it's just gonna be like at least two attempts for every track after this point because I got to spend the first one just memorizing the track and it's stupid fucking trains and non-signal turns well that's some error I'm glad the items function on these anti-grav areas Mod Nation Racers had some uh, problems with item tracking. Granted, that was because there was a lot of freedom in what you could do with the track editor. And I'm okay with that trade-off, because being a, be, like the track editor was a massive highlight of that game. I remember the right turn, because I knew it was there. I had memorized it. I remembered a little late, but I did remember! I don't know what it is that's different with the physics. Like, you can kind of... You have some control while you're in the air. In maybe Mario Kart, some other karting games. But this one, when you jump, you're just... You're set in your trajectory until you land, more or less. It's not quite Castlevania lack of air control, but you really don't have much. scraped the wall a little bit, but I did not get hit by a train. I'm really trying not to make, like, Coco sexual or anything. There's just not, not a whole lot of way to imply, to, like, infer some of her dialogue. Not that one. That one's obviously, like, race-related, but... I'm still trying to piece out the no peeking one. Like, peeking at what? Cleaner bot? You can't see the cleaner bot coming either. You just gotta. You've had very little warning for him. It. Then you got Velo Racers characters. I don't even know their names, they're just here. I wonder if the team meter charges slower when you're in a high position. If maybe that's a sort of comeback mechanic. You cannot fire missiles backwards. Red shells there are not. I'm doing better this time, though, because I memorized the track. This is the right turn. I'm waiting for the, the left turn followed by the right. Here it is. This is it. Still hit... I hit the inside wall that time. Well, this shield lasts a while. The super shield. It really is worth it to get the ten, uh, the ten fruit. I think your teammate, your AI teammate, will just kind of stick with you whatever place you're at, is the impression I'm getting. from drifting. That's a special drifting, but without the boost reward. I keep thinking I can drive through those. No, the hologram projectors have hit, have... What's the word I'm looking for? Collision. I'll stick with Crash. Crash is doing okay. You deserve it. Alien bastard. 
Just insufferable to play against in both CTR and Crash Bash. Death Battle. N Oxide versus Sebulba. Death Race, rather. Just the two rankest alien bastards pitted against each other. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. This is so similar to the F-Zero track in Mario Kart 8. I like this. I like this level. Don't be tall on this level, though. You're going to lose your head on some of these ceilings. Oh, I'm with Crunch this time. It's not Toko. Have I ever been with Crunch before now? I thought it was it was always been Coco before this point. I feel like I'm going to hit that next lap because I placed it in an area that I can't see. This is extremely Mario Kart 8, this level. strange that this game did not really get the attention that CTR did. I wonder, it probably had to do with Crash Bash kind of not being amazing to a lot of people, and then Wrath of Cortex definitely not being amazing to a lot of people. Fuck! Hit the wall. so people were kind of, they were kind of off the crash kick when this game came out, is a theory. A game theory. But what do I know? Not like I was alive in the 2000s. I was definitely not in the target audience at the time of this game's height. I, I say sarcastically, I realize some people who maybe aren't regular viewers don't know that I am in fact Le Boomer. Just, you know, an ancient 26 years old. I'm just dinosaur age. Oh, that's my guy. Shit. Sorry, Crunch. Help a brother out. Help me drop shit that you'll then have to avoid. What do you? You're gonna. You have to jump those. That's the only way to avoid them for sure. The big jumps are cool in levels. I liked the donkey, the double dash level with the d giant Donkey Kong barrel cannon. That was always fun. Did I just bounce on Cortex? I feel like that's what just happened. Yeah, this is my favorite level of the game so far. I really like this one. No one really... I mean, people know this game existed, but no one really talks about it like they continue talking about CTR over the years. I think I heard more people talk about tag team racing than this one. I guess like Wrath of Cortex, it just didn't do enough new for people to consider it noteworthy. No, we can't lose. You should be helping the Bandicoots win so that Earth doesn't get blown up or nothing. What do you mean you can't lose, Engine? A brainwashed polar bear got ahead of me. And I'm gonna hit- no, I'm not gonna- Engine's gonna eat it for me. But I can't beat the polar bear. I'm not fast enough. He's too far ahead. 
How'd he get so far ahead? Polar, what the fuck? Well, the polar bear doomed the earth. Thank you for the sympathy, Penguin Sandy. I guess the aesthetic is a little bit uncrash like with all the, like, future settings and the... the, uh... like, the three lights at the beginning of the race. The, like, space-age triangle stuff. But then Crash has always been... it's always had a lot of, like, techno-mad science in it. It's just Cartoon Dr. Moreau is the Crash Bandicoot series. Wacky Island of Dr. Moreau. <sighs> Too fast. That ain't good. <sighs> he sounds more like, uh... We'll get, we'll get to him. He sounds more like Croc than Crash in this game. Or he sounds like halfway between them. Too too fast. This is uh, this is like Rainbow Road. It's really easy to go too fast and fly off the stage. I might have to bring me. I hope I don't have to bring Coco to this. I don't want to exit and re-enter. that little, like, schoolgirl laugh he does. Also, I have zero fruit. Have I really not been collecting any? Get him, tornado. All the way to first. Those, uh, fruit fell under the track somehow. Not sure how that happened. A corpse blocked my way. God damn it. I think that decided it. I think I'm too far back now. I think I'm just losing all my fruit from hitting things, is what happens. Oh, this might be a bad place to use that. What, huh? I spun out from hitting a wall? Okay, how do I do the circle as the brake button? Wow, you lose speed really fast when you brake. And of course, Crunch is all the way in the back with me. Because we can't, I only I can't suck, we have to suck together. He's in fourth. You can do it, Crunch. I can't, but you can. I'm just, I'm hitting everything. Who is that? That's Dingadial. And Crunch is out of fourth. I'm in seventh. Again with zero fruit. Not happening, is it? <sighs> I think I placed that too. Crunch, you failure! Speed up! Do better! Oh. You giving me shit?
How are there two of him? Crunch almost shoved me off the stage. Yeah, it's over. It's just, it doesn't matter. Seventh. Come on. Crunch an eighth. You better get your shit together. I'm gonna try it one more time. Like that, ri that really looks like it should be a ra in Ratchet and Clank, not Crash Bandicoot. Those the uh, triangle space starting signs. I miss that. Miss the Wumpa. Oh, now he's in first because I'm up here. I'm gonna make a point to get fruit. I need fruit, and I need to hold on to the fruit. I need to not fall off the stage. Fruit. You got seven fruit. I cannot turn sharp enough for that part. I can't turn sharp enough for that part! God, imagine how it must be using a heavy racer on this track. This is not fun. Back down to five, Fruit. Gotta bring that number up. in that one. Who's taking sweet time? I'm ahead of you. Shut up, Crunch. Okay, first. Now I gotta hold it. I gotta stay here. I got eight fruit. And I'm not gonna be going for the risky crates. That's how I, I fell off last time. Fuck off, Cortex. Ah, oh, that didn't... That did not stop the missile. Alright, got my ten fruit. And I'm about to lose him. No, I'm not. I'm fine. Okay. I got lucky with the, the, the electric barriers. This, uh... This game's getting more challenging towards the end. I'm, ha I'm having to attempt each thing multiple times. Thank you for getting fucked, Engine. I needed that. Oh, it's a good fucking. Probably should have held on to that in case someone brings in a missile. You actually seem to turn a little bit sharper when you do the boost.
Like in Mario Kart, it becomes more, it becomes harder to control when you do the, the boost during a drift. Here you actually get a little bit tighter with your drifting when you get the speed boost. Crunch. You better carry your weight! I can't hear him from 8th place. Maybe I'm wrong about them sticking to you. Maybe the AI allies just suck. Maybe that's how they guarantee that you won't cheese your way to a victory. Very few racers have ever won all 12 trophies. All 12, that is all of them? Yes, they deserve it. But now, they must face my finest race. Giri, champion of Techni. Okay. It's the Iron Giant. Isn't that right? It's it's Rosie, the robot. Where was I? Okay. No, he's not as good as Rosie. There will never be a replacement for Rosie the robot in my heart. Except maybe the cleaning robot from Wally. That was a cool cleaning robot. I liked him. Wampa fruit will make your coin go faster. Collect ten Wampa fruit to skews up your coin and make your power ups stronger. Okay, so I was right, it does affect speed. Mario Kart kind of just ripped off all of these features over the course of the kart racing genre. But did them not as well as the original incarnations? <laughs> like, you don't get special cooler versions of power-ups in Mario Kart for having ten coins. I'm gonna go Coco. I I'm worried about the turning on some of these levels. Diddy Kong Racing, you could actually have multiple vehicles on one track? Like, you know, planes racing carts? Whereas in Mario Kart, the vehicle change, and Sonic and Racing Transformed, the vehicle change is just kind of aesthetic. It doesn't matter. You're still, like, here, now you're flying through a portion of the track, but... You know what? I, I, I Mario Kart, I'll say that about. It's just still just a linear track, and you're still basically driving. Whereas, at least in All-Stars Racing Transformed... The flight sections were flight sections with all three dimensions and not just, you know, gliding. So that that's my verdict. Mario Kart just rips off other series and does what they do worse. still smells like melted butter in Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Whoop! Too fast. Too sharp. Fucker took my wumpa fruits. Zero fruits. Alright, here we go. Oh, they actually are the cleaning bots from the level. It's them that I'm racing. I can't fire items while I'm flat. Coming for you. I'm gonna filth you the fuck up. How am I losing? What did I do wrong? Oh, it doesn't quite the the, an, the anti grav sections aren't perfect. They haven't quite mastered it. You 
is perfect. I think it's a he. It's a robot. It's whatever it wants to be. They hit again. This is lap two. I still got some time. Fortunately, they don't seem to have, like, AI to drop stuff behind them to save them from items. They don't do that. They just kind of drop them at intervals. Ooh, that's a good thing for me to get right now. Also, thankfully, the train isn't running today. Three super boosts. Lots of drift boosts. Even more drift boosts! Oh, I lost the chain. Darn, I wanted to see how long I could make it go. Alright, this is going way better than the mime boss. Fuck the mime boss. I'm gonna hold on to this guy in case a missile shows up or something. Until I get another item crate. Alright, we good. We got him. Definitely no Rosie the Robot. Oh, cool. We got a thing. I think that's the uh, that's where you race Velo, that track. And I remember it being pretty cool. Let, maybe we can find out. Maybe we can go race there. I don't like this character, this voice. Grow another dimension. He's cool, he likes it. That sounds like something he would enjoy. You now have all four champion keys. He's got a scepter powered by a spyro gem. Challenge the most accomplished racer in the entire galaxy. You? Me. Yep. And I never lose. Okay. Well, I guess I guess this will be the end of it. We'll we'll race Velo, we'll kick his ass and then uh, that'll be that. I wonder what they were talking about with five worlds. <clears throat> maybe there's like a maybe there's like a fifth secret world, a bonus world you unlock. Well done. You won a key. Got us a cutscene. All right, here we go. It really should have been a city, not a citadel. Then they could have called it Velo City. Like, like Velocity, you, you get it? Because that's his name, that's, that's the pun. Hey, Entropy, you are in this game. I'm not doing time trials to unlock you, so we'll never see you except here. the fifth world they were talking about. Galaxy Championship. That's where I'm going, I'm gonna guess. There's Terra. <clears throat> world 2, World 3, Enigma, whatever. Velo's Vault. What? What's Velo's Vault? Let's check out there. Can we, can we rob him? 
Is this like, uh, this like Nork's vault? She's so happy to be blown up. The, just the stills they got of Coco in this game, the two they got look so vapid. Alright, what's in here? Oh, this is the special unlocks thing. So we need all four... To compete in a gem cup. Thanks. Got it. So it is like CTR. We get we have to get all four of the certain colored things to get a gem cup, which lets us race a string of tracks, and then if we get all four gems. You do not have enough relics. Relics? Gems? Sure looks like relics. I don't know what hyperspaceway is. If that's just uh I think that's where we race Velo. Maybe you unlock the track for, uh, like, a trophy and coin and things, and a re well, a relic, at least. I don't think the reward in CTR was that overwhelming. It wasn't, it, I think it was just, like, a, a final arena level. Wasn't it? I don't remember, actually. Ow. Darn, skulls also have collision. Okay, so that's the that's the fifth world they were talking about, is Velo's vault. Well, we'll end it with Crash. That I did not give you enough credit, yes? Yes. I won't make that mistake again. You savages will learn fear, just as millions have before you. <laughs> he's got a he's got a pod racer. Well almost. No, the jet engines are behind him. It is a nice craft. I think this game probably has my favorite portrayal of Crash, though. I'm realizing watching these cutscenes. There's just this derpy dude who's just b not bothered by anything. He's cool with everything. I like that. I like that, Crash. And he's not actively an idiot or anything. He just, he's just kind of... He's just very agreeable. Alright, let's do this. Oh, he's got his little dudes on the track. So here we are. I think this is the hyperspace way. Oh, I missed the Wumpas! I need those. Ah, that's... Okay. I don't know what happened. Oh, I didn't hit that, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, this is a cool level. I like this level. Does he... Did he boost as soon as I passed him? Ow! I know at least he's got the balls to come out onto the racetrack himself with all this volatile weaponry. Like a really corrupt ruler would just be forcing slaves to do this, or something. That might have decided it. Oh no. Imagine Caesar. Like a dude. A dude beats all the lions, all the gladiators, everyone in the Colosseum. And as a reward. Caesar hops down to fight the dude himself. That'd be something, right? The, the missiles made it through the war. Oh, those destroy items. 
Alright, lap two of three, and I am uh, way behind, I think. I don't have a map to see. I guess this, this level would be difficult to map, wouldn't it? There they are. I see them. I almost got my ten fruits. Get him, Tornado. You can survive hyperspace. I know you can. This, t this level doesn't have a lot of sharp turns. This seems like it would be a good crunch level. Maybe I should have let crunch save the universe. Except this. This, this is a bit tight. Coming for you. I don't like that spot. I don't like the figure eight. I like this spot. Tubes are cool. I like tubes. This this is like this game's crashiest music track with the mouth harp. Here we go. Alright. I caught up. I see ya. Also, he did not get hurt by his own thing, but by running into it, he cleared it from the track, so I'm cool with that. You bastard! Well, that sequence of events fucked me. Am I... I just... I lost a lot of speed. I think it was just losing the fruit. Got the fruit back. Did I snipe him? No. I think those are just his dudes. Maybe. Maybe it's one of the dudes and him. No, that's just the two dudes. <laughs> I'm fine. No, wall. Damn it. Well, it was nice knowing you, world. Oh, he fell off too. I beat his dudes, but I don't know if I'm going to catch up to him. Oh. I, I trick-shotted. I got an item, and I got the, the Wumpas. Still don't think I'm going to make it, though. No. I'm just going to clip through the roof. And that's how all of Earth was doomed. Why is there even an are you sure you want to retry? Why would you not want to retry? What are the stakes that you are like... It's weird that that has an extra selection for some reason in this game. Lost, didn't get my boost. Yeah, I don't need an item. Items are for babies. Do that cross up. Get my item here. Get my fruits early. That's the plan. I gotta get gotta get fruits. Gotta get lots of vitamin C. Does your mother buy your shoes as well? I don't think he has a mother. Does Crash have a mother? I just juggled him for a little bit. He got pissed that he insulted his non-existent mother. That TNT, please. Go ahead and suck on it for a bit. <laughs> I 
Please hit him, bomb. That was a good place for a bomb. It's a very narrow straightaway. I like this. This is good finale music. <laughs> I love the mouth harp in this track. It's great. Got a triple boost. I like that. Get the Wumpa Fruits. Yeah, fastest in the universe. Fuck you, Velo. Any of the any of these racing game villains with their evil plots involving like being the fastest and the destroying shit with their blinding speed. I just want to see Sonic show up, right? He just shows up and beats him on foot in five seconds. Just make him eat some humble pie. That'd be cool. I'd like to see that. This feels easier than Oxide in CTR. I say that, I'm, I'm tempting fate by saying that. I know you're just gonna boost past me any second now. And I'm not looking forward to that. This is the most fuck upable spot, this turn right here. Like, I just fucked it up a little bit. Alright, we got our boost. We got another boost. We got another boost. We got a landing boost. We got the eight, the figure eight. Love how long this shield lasts. All right, the tube. Triple boost. Yeah, triple bomb. I like this warp system because I can, uh, I can come out on any part of the tube and it'll automatically write me. It's a neat little workaround for the uh, logistics of having a 360 degree track. I'm just, I'm just dominating with these 10 fruit. You get those early and you're good. Shield, please. Oh, double nitro. Ace is gonna take one of the boosts. I should, probably should have put them on the boosts. The track just gets more and more littered as the race goes on because these things don't expire. Fortunately, he's not mean enough to place any in these narrow paths. be bad to fall off here. Didn't Super Mario Kart have jumping? I think Mario Kart was the first to have jumping, but I don't, th I don't know that it did anything in Super Mario Kart. Did it? Maybe I'm completely misremembering, and Super Mario Kart did not have jumping. A final string of boosts. Seven. Can we make eight? Eight! No. Oh well. To victory. Alright, throw your baby tantrum about how I didn't really beat you and I gotta get all the things now. Can I go home now? Congratulations. You have won the Galaxy Circuits. And you put on quite a show. Am I right, everyone? You are now free to go. Mike, send us home. Well, you mean Earth? But now I have to destroy Earth. Since you no longer want to race, you can't go back there. 
I thought I was pretty clear about that. That's not fair. What do you mean? You're afraid to go? We're not going anyway. We'll keep racing if that's what it takes. A rematch? How exciting. But there are rules to follow. You first need to earn all my time relics. Then we can race for the fate of your Earth. Oh, sure. Yeah, baby. No such thing as an incomplete victory. We don't even get credits from that, do we? We gonna get a credit sequence? Uh, three cutscenes. the cutscenes. I wonder if we unlocked any that we didn't see today. Maybe, maybe we maybe we unlocked the Cortex ones. That'd be neat. I doubt it, though. Probably gotta play as Cortex to unlock those. Granted, you could look them up on YouTube. I'm sure they're there. Extras. Wait, Arena Ed- Hold on. Arena Editor. What? Hold on, what's this now? This game, this game has a track editor? Uh, well, it's an arena, not a track. I can just, I can place things, but to what end? Is this for some, like, uh... Is this for some online multiplayer thing? I can play spawns. Maybe this game had, like, an online multiplayer. I don't know. That was a thing starting in the PS2 era. There were some games like that. Ratchet and, uh... Jack. Jack X online. I know Road Rocket played a lot of that. Tony Hawk. I wish I'd have been around for that. I didn't have a... I never played PS2 online. I get... Well, so there's not a, a proper course editor, but there's, like, an arena editor for... I guess some kind of battle mode. Introduction. Okay. Uh, Velo rematch. Velo's victory... Do we get to see the cutscenes even if we joke? Perhaps next time you might actually challenge me. Okay, cool cutscene. Do we get to see the ending cutscenes even if we don't beat the game? I if so, that would be nice of them, I guess. I, I get kicked out all the way back to the start again. Song. Congratulations. You have won the galaxy. So what's the Velo rematch then? I, I thought that cutscene would be titled the Velo rematch. I guess that's what it would look like if, you know, we got all the things and then said, let's race again. That's an, a, a cool, pointless cutscene. 
Alright, well, I'm not going to... I, I mentioned this, I'm not going to go through the entire game 100% get all the things. I would have loaded the save file for the final race, but I don't have that, so... That will, uh... That'll, that'll wrap up Crash Nitro Kart. I'm not going to do more than that, mostly because I want to get to Twin Sanity. And I know there are people who want me to get to Twin Sanity. So, I'm going to end this for now. I'm going to make that the Crash Nitro Skart... The, yeah, the Crash Nitro Skart stream. Stream. Words. And next time I do a solo stream, I will, uh, I'll finally get started on Twin Sanity. Hopefully Jack will be back. We'll be able to do something this coming week. We'll figure that out as the time comes. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys next time.